What's up, Twisties? It's Twisted Pandora, and welcome everyone to the final part of this massive Roblox Battles event. But I should say that this finale is far from over because this will be a huge multi step process that, well, I wish you guys the best of luck. But before you do any of this, guys, if you've come to this video, you must know that to do anything in this video, you need to have already collected the three swords green, blue, and pink, and also gotten all 12 badges across the 12 games in this event when you do you end up getting this winner's wings here make sure to equip it on your body or else this will not work guys so go into your avatar equip the winner's wings if you guys need help on any of what i said there i will leave a playlist down where you can go through the many videos about this event and when you do all that come back here and let's get going now i'm talking to you guys who have done everything on the way and first thing you're going to want to do is when you join a lobby go down the stairs of the do not enter and you're going to want to go into the ship you see this black hole that spawned in you're going to want to walk to the ship because in the ship you can actually teleport straight into there again it won't work unless you have the winner's wings got to walk up to this little area where there's a bunch of symbols hold down your f key and boom you have a quick cutscene of you walking into the cockpit and the ship taking off going straight into this warp hole which will lead you to a boss battle if you guys are excited for this finale of roblox battles event then be sure to drop that like down below subscribe if you guys are new hit the notification bell on your way out and don't forget to use star code twist it with two eyes whenever you're buying robux or premium to help support the channel now that you're in here with this boss battle what you're gonna want to do don't worry if it says mission failed it sometimes glitches like that and you will just load back in so it should be good you are inside your ship and you can left click or tap on the screen and hold it actually because you will launch a bunch of missiles as you can see that when they hit the hand you actually do some damage against them now keep in mind each of these hands have two separate moves you saw that the blue hand is now shooting asteroids oh and there we go the pink has a move where it shoots two lasers in an x direction those ones will always be the same the other move that the pink one has is a laser that targets you and you're gonna want to move your ship and strafe just so that you get far away just like that as you saw there he shot i moved too fast for him to get me now the favorite one of the blue is the asteroids like i said but the other one is like a set of five explosions all you got to do is go right to the end and you will always survive it this one though with the asteroids it kind of just shoots randomly now, what I highly recommend is focus on the pink one, because when the blue one does the asteroid move like this, you can actually shoot the asteroids down if you aim properly. So, guys, once you're done that, you're actually going to be warped back to the lobby, but you might notice it's a little different. What you're going to want to do first is grab your green, your pink, your blue swords, because you are going to need them for the rest of your journey. What I highly recommend, ladies and gentlemen, is almost always having your green sword out so you can run fast with it and only taking out the pink sword, the sword of healing, when you need to heal. The only time you really use the Russo Sword of Truth is right here because you're going to need to go across the map and find 12 different locations scattered throughout the map where there are hidden symbols that when decoded end up being the four games you have to click in order at the back here. Oh, and I didn't tell you guys, but there are robots that are currently going to be spawning in and shooting at you. And the more time you spend here, the more of them shoot at you. So it's kind of crazy. But I recommend if they are shooting at you like crazy, go into one of these rooms. They aren't actually able to warp in. It's a little bit weird that they don't come in the rooms, but you can stay here pop in the sword of healing heal up first things first ladies and gentlemen you're gonna want to run towards the podium over here pull out your russo sword of truth while dodging the lasers and bombs from these robots after a while there should be an orb as you can see here i got dj russo sabrina and the swords that's the order that you need to keep in mind other than that guys like i said there are 12 locations and i'm gonna show you guys two of them right now one of them is on the right side of the podium being the blue sword with a bunch of symbols be sure to write this down or take screenshots of each and every single one of these 12 locations because you will need them after also keep in mind that while the 12 locations will be the same for everyone the host icons and the symbols beside them will be different for each and every Every single one of you so be sure to write it down the other code is on the left side of the podium here we have sabrina bright looking with some brackets and stuff now what you're going to want to do is go into the event badges area because in here is another one on the right side as soon as you come in now going out from the event badge area right by the bleachers oh gosh he just spawned here right by the bleachers by this blue barrel if we just don't die for a quick second we should be able to see another one pop up right there the next location is at the shop but on this side of it another location is 
is inside the spleef area, right to the back where you're supposed to fall down, but you don't worry, you don't fall down in this version. There it is, and that is another sword. Now let's head up to the Hall of Fame, because in here, on the top of this area right here, behind on the opposite side, there will be the code there. Now let's move across to the lobby obby without getting shot out of oblivion and go all the way to the end of the intro part right beside the buy blue merch little shrine and you should see your next code here. Now let's go down into the basement here. But before we do, don't forget that there's one more in the main lobby area, as you can see here on the wall where there are these two red barrels and this blue tube. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm about to die. So let's go inside here and not take any more damage. When we're in here, one of the sides of the do not enter will have one right on on this wall here. Now, moving on to the opposite side, there will be one kind of on the lower end of the staircase on the ramp right over here. And this one is Russo with just one thing. And now let's go actually downstairs. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. I'm a little silly. It's right here on this wall leading to the ship area. Keep in mind, guys, no matter what area of this whole entire video you died, you will start back at the very beginning, which is the boss battle with the hands. And you have to do it all over again. So now that you guys have written down or taken screenshots of your 12 locations, the next step you're going to want to do is convert those symbols that you got into letters. To do so, use this translator that I'm posting on the screen right now. It will also be available down in the pinned comment below so you guys can do it all. Convert all your symbols into letters and then your next step will be to group these letters into four groups of three. If you guys recall along your journey, you will have noticed three Russos, three DJs, three Sabrinas, and three Swords. So take the letters that you have gotten from your symbols and group them into those groups. You should have three sets of letters for Russo, three sets of letters for DJ, three sets of letters for Sabrina, and three sets of letters from the Swords. Now, because there are only 12 mini games, depending on what sets of letters you get, you can actually decipher them into what mini games to click into what specific order. To make your life a lot easier, I've brought together those letters that will be translated from your symbols. And if you did this correctly, you should see your letters right on the screen correspond to their specific games. For example, here is something for me. On the screen are three locations that had the Russo icons. Each of them have these symbols. I translated them now into the letters that correspond. TSR, R and NS. Now using this image, I will notice that TSR, R and NS equal treasure hunt. So that's how you know that the Russo icon equals treasure hunt. So do that for each of your icons, do that for the swords. Then you will have four mini games. Now, what is the order that you need them in? Well, recall from way in the beginning, when we looked at the bottom of the podium, you might have noticed that the icons were in a specific order. For me, it was DJ, Russo, Sabrina, and swords. I do believe they're the same for everyone, but make sure double check if it is, then you will do them in that order. Depending on what mini games you got, put them in that order. And now you must go to the back where all the mini games are located. There are 12 of them. Click the four that you have in the same order that you were given, and the rest is history. And hopefully not die because these guys are actually crazy. So let's put Fluby Bird first. Let's put Treasure Hunt two progress predicament for three and ball boop for four there we go so with that you should get a check mark if you get an x that means you did something wrong backtrack in this video you should be able to do it this part is the most complicated part i would say and again if you're low <laughs> gonna pop oh my gosh okay now that i'm back and not dead what happens when you get the check mark well this thing opens up and there is a floor that pops down do not jump before the floor pops down because you will fall down and you'll have to do it all over again so don't do that and as you guys can see also just just because I died does not mean that I have to press the buttons all over again. Thankfully, this will always be here unless you leave the server, so that would suck. And also, keep in mind that the codes that you get are player-specific. So even if you leave, join another server, reset the server, I tried all that, and I still stayed with the same codes that you saw here for myself. I don't know if I'm repeating myself too much, but let's go to the next area, finally, where I, again, recommend to always have DJ Sword of Agility because this makes things a lot quicker, a lot faster, and a lot more safe in my opinion. Now, when you're going here, make sure again not to fall anytime. Do not die because then you will be spawned back to the boss hand battle. These platforms here do move, so keep that in mind right over here. As you see, they can move, but you can take a few shortcuts if you want to, like I am, but if you want to play it safe, don't worry. Take your time. Honestly, probably is better to take your time on this. Here we go. Then we jump through there, and you get to a super bright area. Entering it, you go to this quiz where Mr. Boringsworth is going to give you a quiz. So be sure to go to this desk. He'll walk to you, give you a test, and you have to solve 
solve it. I don't know why his walking animation is slower than Molasses. Now, I don't know if I have all the answers to every question here, but I'm going to provide you guys a list of answers and questions down in the pinned comment below as well. All of this will be there available for you guys. You will be given a series of five questions among like 20 to 30 of them. Hopefully you guys did the same ones as I do here because it'll make it easier. So who had the most votes for likely to win in season one? That was my username, this. Who was the runner up just by one point in the season one finale? That was Tofu. What was the code to get the secret note in the RB Battles game? That one is 3440R404. So it's this one here. Fourth question is who owns the champion sword pack? That is Creekcraft. When was the RB Battles game created? And that was 515 2020. And if you do the answers correct, he's going to let you guys warp to another area. If you did it wrong, he's going to warp you into just your death and you're going to have to start back at the boss battle. He's going to do the same animation of him talking and be like, hmm, I don't know, man. Did you do it right? Oh, I don't know. What'd you eat for breakfast? Not that that has any relevance, but eventually he's going to warp you guys in. There you go. He does that. And if you get stuck like I do here, do not jump too high because you <laughs> will do the quiz again. I've done that once. Shimmy yourself on down through the hole there. And now we're on a timer. Here is an obby with lasers. Be careful. These are powerful. Do not die in the lava. That's an insta kill. Go over the lasers. Take one little simple jump there. As you can see, I, I kind of took a little bit of a hit there. This is a double jump. Ooh, except I missed there. And this is just a single jump. And, uh, well, I took a bit of damage there. So try your best. Now we got a bunch of fans here and you got to get in between them. And we're going to just roll through it. And then we're just going to roll through this one. And then we're going to roll through this one. And there we go. Look at that. Another lava pit. Again, do not fall. That will be the death of you. Jump over here. Then this one's a far jump through the middle here. Double jump. And this one, honestly, I recommend if you have a lot of health, just walk right through it. Then pull out your healing sword and heal. Climb up the truss here and you will do more obbies. Keep in mind, you do have a timer, so you can't go super slow. But I do believe in you guys. This one's a, just a jump. This one's a nice jump here. Oh, except the top one hit me. And this one is, again, just one laser at the bottom. I just say walk through it. Now we get to this conveyor belt, which can be a bit tricky for you guys. What you're going to want to do is go across to the opposite side, like the opposite diagonal side. So double jump and dive your way across the conveyor belts. And now watch out here, because if you get squished, it does a lot of damage. Just keep going. Wait for it. Wait for it to squish. And then go underneath. And here is another truss where you climb to the top of gear. And then you got to hop across a bunch of gears to get to this area right over there. So be very... Very, very careful for this. You can't fall off. And also, hitting this on the side does do damage, apparently. So keep that in mind. I've died like that one time here. So we got to jump, double jump, then dive to each little area. That one, I think you can just double jump. Here, you got to double jump and get up there. And this one's a far one. You got to jump. No, do not do that. If you do that like I did there by accident, at least catch yourself here or else if you fall into the void, you have to start again. You guessed it. Back in the boss battle. There we go. We're back up here at this far gear. Jump, double jump, dive. You should make it to the top. Jump, double jump, dive. And you should make it to this brown door here in this area. You might think you have to go through a series of doors. No, it, it's actually just go to the left here and go through the smallest blue door in this entire map. You can jump on the orange door on the top and then just walk right through it and you get warped to the next area. Here is more spinners or more fans. Just go through it make sure you don't take any damage and now the final battle shall start which you might think it's just one no it's four battles back to back to back which you cannot die and that's still not the end guys so this goes on for oh well quite some time good luck <laughs> so there's gonna be a little bit of dialogue from the hosts here where you can listen and laugh and have a good gaff what happens is you go through a series of rb battles which is really cool i like this a lot and in this one you're facing ashley where you have to hit her with dodgeballs before she hits you and also keep in mind too that the host they hit you with stuff as well so i recommend pulling out the sword of agility then going grabbing the dodgeballs before she can and just whipping the matter constantly look at this this one is actually quite easy she's gonna try to dodge and jump but there we have it smacked her and the first battle is done. Now, this one's a little tricky. This one took me a while. You're facing hyper in tiles. So you're actually not supposed to win this one. What you're supposed to do is lose as soon as you hear Russo say that. Here, hyper, take this boost. When you hear that, go ahead and lose. As long as that activates, which, by the way, it activates when hyper falls through the first and second floors and he lands on the third floor. He gets a boost that's a jetpack. Just fall all the way down the bottom. No worries, because you're supposed to die. You may have lost the semifinals, but it's not the end of the road for you. Yeah, you heard there. It's not the end of the road, because now where you go is to the battle back where you just for some reason only face tanker now this one can be a little bit tricky it's a cosmic cark battle and you gotta be really quick swords don't help here so you can put it away so here we go this part gets a little bit buggy not this hill but the hill above us can be a little bit annoying also tanker is really good at this one apparently as a bot if you have bombs guys i recommend dropping them near the middle because that tends to be where the npc likes to be so this one here this hill as you can see here oh gosh it's really really slow unfortunately i wasn't able to go as fast as tanker 
Tanker was. I don't know why he's able to, but I'm not. But okay. So let's boost right here. Do not fall off because there are a few glitches. We got a double boost there, but Tanker's still kind of in the lead here. This is a little bit uh, nerve wracking. Oh, come on, Tanker. Tanker, come on. Slow down, buddy. Slow down. Try to take the inner corners. Oh, as you can see here, remember? Remember I said put the bombs in the middle because that helps out a lot. Also, try to save your boost for that little hill there because that hill for some reason is so insanely annoying. And there we go. We're going to use another boost to get another boost. This is going to give us a huge lead. And now we're on the final lap. Again, put the bomb right in the middle so that tanker, if he goes, he's probably going to fail that one because for some reason it, it follows the same path every time. Now, what? What the heck? That bomb is just kind of... Oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. That was really close. Watch out. You don't get hit by your own bombs because that would suck a lot. What is Tanker doing there? I don't really know. We're going to use that boost to give us a little bit of speed up that slow, slow hill. Tanker's a little bit glitched, so I can actually probably do this as slow as possible. But I'm not getting any risks here. We're going to go straight to finish line. Now, what you gotta do is you go to the finale where you face Creek. What I highly recommend here is pulling out, again, your DJ sort of agility to walk really, really fast and try to take two at a time. As you can see here, I'm walking kind of in the middle in between. Oh yeah, and Creek can hit you off the edge. Do not fall because that counts as a loss. And also try to prioritize Creek's little areas here because he will get boosted by the host and they will give him a lot of colors for some dumb reason. I don't know why they do that. And also, this is not really spinning, so I'm gonna take more of his tiles because the less tiles he has and the more for you the better you will be the judges are rigged against you they try to make you lose so what you're gonna have to do is be quick i'm actually not doing that bad right now i'm a little bit ahead but with the next bomb that they're gonna drop of pink to help out creek it might go right against me so here we go guys here we go good good blue squares we oh no there you go, as you saw there, 1 minute and 30, and I'm a little bit behind because they dropped the massive pink bomb right here. But that's okay, because you should prioritize Creek's pink little squares. If you do, he falls more behind, and you go that much farther. We're just gonna- Oh, excuse me, Creek. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna take all your blocks, I'm just gonna take all your- Oh! There we go, guys. Oh, we won. We won. So now once you win, they're going to do a little bit of dialogue saying that, hey, it was rigged against you. You weren't supposed to win. And then the final part here. This is a series of two obbies. The first one is lava. The next one is ice. You got to be very careful here because if you fall in the lava or fall into the pits of ice, you will start back at the boss battle. Be quick. Use your DJ sword. You will not be able to do it, honestly, without it. It is very, very tough without it. And try to take as much shortcuts as you can, but do not over... Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh no, I've never done this before. Okay, 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 okay. I'm, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. All right, that was a little bit of a delay, I'm not gonna lie. I might not make this, but there we go. Oh gosh. Then you gotta jump across here, use your double jumps, use your dives when you can. Actually, do not use your dives too commonly because, oh, no, no. Maybe I should've used my dive. Um, okay, so here we are back at the obby and I don't think it's supposed to be that tall, what? Okay. Okay, okay, so this is a little glitched. Uh, if you guys get this, uh, the only thing I can recommend is just try to... Oh, yeah, do that. Do that. Okay, there we go. That's the only way you can do it. Yeah, no, it's definitely not supposed to be that tall. That is really weird. No no diving unless we absolutely need to. I'm just gonna take it kind of slow a little bit just because I feel like I am going to glitch in anywhere. I'm just so prone to glitching. I don't even know how or why it happens to me. Now, only me for some reason. Climb up here. Now we gotta dodge this part here. This should be easy. Actually, can we? No, I don't wanna risk it. We're gonna just jump over this stuff. Sometimes it double jumps. I'm not really sure what's up with that. There's a little bit of like a input lag there or maybe double input. And we can jump on here. Then we jump over here. Okay, and now we're at these spinners that go against you. So what I recommend is this is where you're going to double jump and dive. And do not get inside the area there. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. It's actually insane how fast they spin. Okay, we're going to jump and then dive and then make it. Okay, there. We made it. All right. Now we're moving on. Double jump there. Double jump there. I don't know if that kills you. I don't want to risk it. So we're going to... Oh, it does. It does hurt. It hurts you. It doesn't kill you. It's not an insta-kill, so that's good. Oh, wait a minute. I did not mean to go this way. We're actually supposed to jump over here to the conveyors. And I'm guessing we're supposed to go across to the... Oh, my goodness. There are multiple things that fall down. That's not too good. Let's go over here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Almost fell off there. Okay, one gear here. We got a double jump dive. And then we got a double jump dive over here. Okay. And then we got to I'm guessing to go on the spinner here. So let's just do that. Wait on the spinner. This spinner does no damage, thankfully. Then we got to jump up onto this gear again. Double jump and dive is your way to go. Double jump. And this one, no diving because it's pretty close. We got to double jump and climb up the truss. Here we go. And once we're done that, we have the second part to the last part, if that makes sense. This is the second obby. This one is the ice obby. And here you can die to this massive. Massive bowling ball that will come out from behind you, I think. Right? Right? Where is it? Ah, there it is. 
There's the ball of steel. Well, I don't know. It's a, it's a ball of ice. So watch out for that. We're going to have to do this quick, but it's actually, I would say, easier than the last part of the obby because it's just a bunch of double jumps that you can do with the DJ sword. Remember, have that DJ sword equipped and this obby can be yours. Okay, look behind. Oh gosh, that, that's so much faster than I expected it. Here we go. Sprint, 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 double jump and sprint, 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 sprint. I don't even want to look behind. I don't want to risk it. Double jump and another double jump to another platform and another platform and another platform. Okay, so then, what is this? Oh, this is, this is going to be a dive one right here. Yep, a dive one. And then this is going to be a double jump dive. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We got the trophy fair and square. And now we got to go into the portal. I don't know why it was like glitching in there. Once you do both those obbies, you are complete, ladies and gentlemen. You can take a breather because we're going up the stairway to hell. Heaven, or rather the stairway into a roller coaster just hop on into this little roller coaster cart and we walk through the coolest outro of any event i have ever seen because this outro here will show us every game and every part of this event from the past look at that guys season one rb battles and then we got to the host sabrina dj and russo and through here we have I think, is this Islands or Build-A-Boat? I think that, or both of them, I don't really know. Then we got Ronald. Oh my gosh. And then what's this one? Oh, that's Piggy with the door. We're gonna keep on going here. We got Parkour Tower. I kind of want to do this obby. Let me know down in the comments below. Can you beat that obby? And now moving on, we have Jailbreak with a helicopter. This is so cool. Imagine a Roblox land in the future. They better put this map in there because that'd be insanely awesome. We got the Crusher map with the Vapor Wave. Then onto the next area, we have, what is this? Oh, Super Striker League on one side and what is this murder mystery 2 on the other i do believe yep it is oh no there's a dead bacon man oh and he just shot him and scored nice okay so this part here is blocksburg and then coming up after that is uh i don't remember which one this one oh oh this is island royale the fortnite kind of game and then i think that's all of them right no we got row beats how could i forget oh who's getting perfects dang look at this perfect great great perfect what are these guys getting over here i don't really know but i do see a guy dancing in the middle and then over here we have build battle the one that took me so so long to do it took me way too long and now ladies and gentlemen we're going down through the tunnel, or should I say the slide 1,000 miles to the finish line? Hooray, ladies and gentlemen, when you get here, you are truly done, truly at the end. I believe these are all the devs and helpers with this event. And oh, hey, look, I see some of my friends in there. Hope you're doing all great. Now, Congratulations, battler. thank Very you. Few Robloxians thank you, Jay Party. Bar. Your skills are impressive. I present to you the RB Battles Championship Yay! Season 2 Trophy. You there we have it. it. We got ourselves the trophy. And with that, you should have the antlers. That's what we're all here excited for. We have officially beaten the RB Battles event. It has been 12 badges, three swords, and many, many, many failed attempts to finally get to the end. I hope you guys are here with me. Hopefully, you guys get the antlers as well. I wish you all the best of luck because this is honestly, despite it being really fun, it's also really tough without the checkpoints. Again, they're coming in the future, so stay tuned for that. But if you guys enjoyed, if this helped you out, be sure to drop that like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Hit the notification bell on your way out. And don't forget to use star code TWISTED with two eyes whenever you're buying Robux or Premium to help support the channel. Now, with this win, guys, let's just say goodbye to everyone and call it a day. Hopefully, one day, we'll see events like this in the future. Despite all the bugs, this event was pretty fun. So this is Twisted Pandora signing off, and as always, don't forget to stay snazzy!